In this episode, we are going to look into the commercial aspects of hydroversity. So, I have got a report from Knight Frank. I am putting up the link or uh, depending upon where you see, either on Facebook or LinkedIn, uh, sorry, on Facebook or YouTube, depending on up above what video, we will be having the link of the report mostly. Or either, so, okay, I will put down the link, okay, that's fine. I have, I have, in this episode, we are going to re, we are going to re, um, read about the hydroid hy retail, unlocking the potential. So, according to the report, he has taken the four portions of the hydroid city: central, east, northwest, west. So central, so central hydroid consists of Abits, Amirpet, Begumpet, um, Himayatnagar, Mahdi Patnam, Narayan Guda. Panjagutta, Secondary Ward, Sumaji Goda, East Ward, Jilchuk Nagar, AS Rao Nagar, LB Nagar, uh, Malak Pet, Uppal, Northwest, Kukatpalli, Hafiz Pet, Serlingampalli, Sedl, uh, Gachibali, West, Banjara Hills, High Tech City, Jubilee Hills, Madapur, Yosef Goda, West. Okay. Retail products category presented in the category are Appearance, yeah, the clothing one, the clothing industry, food and beverages, restaurants and I mean the food courts part, daily needs, hypermarkets and supermarkets, entertainment, movie, mo uh, cinema, cinema halls, such kind of things come into this category. Introduction Over the last two decades, the inter, uh, Indian retail market has undergone a major transformation. Shopping malls lined with specialty retailers, retailers started dotting the retail markets of the country's top cities during the mid 1990s. Since the mall culture gradually uh, pervaded the population, especially in the metros and mini metros, heralding the uh, beginning of modern retail movement in India, the pace of mall construction was moderate during the first five to seven years and gained a substantial momentum after that. Yeah, these days people are. Uh, Teenagers are like, uh, teenagers actually don't know what to do. I mean, they just want to meet. Like, if they are a group of friends, if they are a group of friends, if they want to meet, they, uh, malls are some, malls are the places where they generally meet. Actually, they don't, they don't do it for, I mean, they just meet over there, they don't do any shopping over there. Generally, that is the case. That turns out to be a meeting place most of the time. The next big wave has been changed the skyline of the retail, retail sector in India and accelerated the um, presence of modern retail and retailing. Or the presence of the sale of products and services via telephone, television and, and became prominent in the last three years. We believe that the modern retail segment in India will be driven by e-tailing as, as well as brick and mortar uh, modern, modern retail format through an integrated approach. Okay, this guy. Okay, this guy is saying saying that it's not just e-tailing. Yeah. Mm. So what does e-tailing exactly mean? Just pause the video. We'll just see. We'll just look into what is e-tailing. Okay, so e-tailing is nothing but e-commerce e-commerce business. I just wanted. I I didn't want to misguide you or get misguided. So that's the reason I have to Google it. Okay, fine. Another tra another trend is becoming. Okay. Yeah, I had I had to summarize right. So it is going. So uh, the next expected trend is trend is the integration of both of them, e-tailing and commercial. I mean the brick and mortar stores, integration of both of them. Okay, sorry. Another trend is becoming um, conspicuous since that last couple of years. This transformation of non-modern stores in shopping streets into modern formats. This trend is likely gain momentum in the future because of prevailing consumer preference for. Modern amenities such as air conditioning and formal building systems, even in shopping streets. Yeah, that's one thing. They are trying, uh, even small stores are modernizing their kind, their stores. Uh, presently, the modern retail penetra penetration in India is uh, absurdly low compared to the developed and emerging economies. While the share of the modern retail is 84%. 71%, 53% in US, Singapore and Malaysia respectively. It is only 19% of the total retail spending value in NCR, Mumbai, Delhi, Bangalore, Kolkata. 
However, with the increase in penetration of retailing, we expect the share to go up to 25% of the total, uh, 25% of the total retail spending by 2019. So that I mean, the money coming to this area is nearly um, this is just 19% at present, so it is expected to go to 25% in the near future. Now last report, Think India, Think Retail 2016. We had estimated the market size and modern retail potential of the four major product categories. Yeah, before I have read it. Clothing, clothing for, um, clothing. Whenever I talk about clothing, this is my, this turns out to be my favorite shirt. That's the reason I put it on my, uh, my, many of my episodes. Okay. I know this, this show is not about my shirt and my my apparel, but still. Okay, fine. Market size approach. Annual consumption expenditure. Annual consumption expenditure is divided in two ways. Annual retail, annual retail expenditure and annual retail expenditure on rent, transportation and medical. Annual retail expenditure include apparel, footwear, food, beverage, home and lifestyle, electronics, watches, jewelry, uh, entertainment and daily needs. An annual expenditure on rent, medical, transportation and medical, uh, sorry, medical, coming to this way. These are kind of basic needs, this kind of lifestyle, lifestyle. And this lifestyle category is divided into two ways again. Annual medium retail expenditure terms and non uh, annual non modern retail expenditure. Annual annual modern expenditure estimated. Okay, the, I feel the um, product category actually is. I don't know why he has given the table. I mean, I personally don't feel any use of it. If there is any use, you just let me know because I don't, I, I couldn't personally understand it. I read it um, known as the second Silicon Valley of India after Bangalore has emerged as an IT as biotech company. The result of the Tanga issue and the project, yeah, T Hub, uh, T Hub is one place where the uh, Telangana government has um, created the place where, uh, where it, where it's kind of ta- uh, startup hub. So in T-Hub where people can, uh, different startups can go there and just, just get, just get their work done. It's kind of startups can interact and it's kind of, uh, it was, it was built for boosting out this uh, startup culture in India, especially in Telangana actually speaking. But that's a beautiful place. Uh, if anyone has, done, if anyone doesn't know it, just Google it. It's a beautiful kind of, it's a beautiful place. I have never gone personally over there. But I'll just, I mean, spoke to few other people who were running, I mean, who were running it. Um, Ramesh Loknan is one person who was, I mean, I don't think he's running it, but still, he, he's, uh, he, he, I mean, he knows everyone over there. So he generally puts out videos or, um, I mean, things related to t So he, I have read few of his posts that how the experience is related to t If any one of you are from startup, right, please. Please look into T So one of the biggest international retailing giant IKEA is also set up number one. Open its first store in Hyderabad, that's an awesome thing actually. Or IKEA is known for its quality. Um, it is one of the biggest, I mean um, it's a, one of the finest qualities or uh, furniture furniture uh, manufacturer in the whole world. That's the reason the guy who found IKEA to not to be a billionaire. Population of Hyderabad. Population of Hyderabad has been increasing from the past decade. That's the unusual thing to find. <coughs> Share of the population. Population across the annual household income brackets in India are in, in Hyderabad. Okay, fine. Mm. Okay. Salaries less than 75,000. 19% of the population. 
seventy-five percent to one lakh fifty thousand, eighteen percent, hmm, one lakh fifty thousand to three lakh, fifteen percent of the population, hmm, three three lakh to five lakh, ten percent of the population, five lakh to one lakh, twelve percent, greater than one lakh, and sorry, ten lakhs, twenty-five percent. That seriously, hmm, seriously blows my mind. मार्केट से प्रोवाइडेड बाय द इंक्रीज ऑफ हाउस होल्ड इनकम लेवल्स एंड सो आल्सो ओके फाइन ओके दैट इज ओके जस्ट दिस ऑल आई मीन इट नीड ऑल आउट इट बट आई जस्ट समराइज इन वन लाइन सैड सर आई मीन द द इनकम लेवल्स आर इंक्रीजिंग इन अ सिम सो कॉरस्पोंडिंग प्रोपोर्शनली इवन द लाइफस्टाइल चेंज दे आर ट्रेमेंडस लाइफस्टाइल चेंजेस सो दैट इज अ रीजन ऑन दैट इज अ रीजन मार्स आर बूमिंग देयर आई मीन Boom! Coming, I mean, having more income, despite having a sizable customer base with the high cost, high consumption retail expenditure, Hyderabad lags behind in modern retail expenditure, which stands at 36 billion rupees. Sorry, I was about to spell it as all. A whopping 91 percent of the retail market in Hyderabad is served is serviced by non-modern retail, the highest compared to the top seven cities of India. Top modern. Okay, fine. This, I think you can go to it. We have estimated that by by year 2040, modern retail penetration in Hyderabad will increase to 50 percent from the current 9 percent, both with both uh, brick and mortar and detail formats. Contribution significant to the growth. The absolutely. low penetration of modern retail is a big opportunity for retailers considering the special capability of the customer base in the city the potential for modern retail in the hyderabad market stands at an estimation of 348 billion rupees so it's just pre- present in the present uh, scenario it is just 36 36 it is estimated to go to 348 so if any of any one of you are retailers i guess All you to definitely go through this record by eight frank. A snapshot of okay fine. Total consumption expenditure one thousand two hundred and fifty one billion rupees. Total expenditure on okay three forty eight billion rupees. Okay. Yeah. Potential for modern retail three forty eight billion rupees. Potential for food food retail, sorry, modern retail and food and uh, food and beverage yes, twenty nine billion rupees. Potential for apparel thirty four billion rupees, and potential for retail and daily needs one eighty seven billion rupees. Central zone of the highest potential. Central zone has the highest potential for modern retail across the product categories. Okay. So that's it for now. I'll put down the link of uh, either above or below, where depending on where you are watching. So just go through it. You'll be having a clear idea if you are a retail guy. Right, bye. bye.